Okay, uh, it's raining in here. It's probably loud. I don't know if you can hear me, but I just wanted to show how I solved some problems on this um, electric uh, to gasoline conversion of a golf cart. This was, um, I was going to make a um, chain tensioner out of this. This is off of some kind of Chinese moped, and I put a roller off a Banshee. Uh, four-wheeler it's got spring load on it and I was gonna weld it <coughs> to this uh, bracket that comes down and use it to tension this uh, chain that goes back to um, the transmission and I was searching around on the internet and I found this device called a roll ring let me pull it out of here <clears throat> this is it. Uh, it's a rubbery circle. It's uh, got these um, I don't know, sprocket like appendages on it. And it just fits inside of the um, chain and rolls in there and keeps tension on it. It works great. And I didn't have to go through all this welding and stuff. Um, and alignment and stuff you just slide it into the chain and just as easy as I popped it out that's how you pop it in and uh, works great it silence the chain or what it does the chain will, will rattle around um, without a chain tensioner on it and that whipping process wears the chain out so um, <clears throat> and, and gets it the faster it wears <clears throat> the more out of um, out of alignment it gets, um, you know, it, it stretches. So this actually helps you um, uh, lengthen the life of your chain. But it's called a roll ring. And uh, I think they're made in Germany. <clears throat> but of course I bought it here in the States. Um, let me show you how it fits in. Let's crawl under here if I can. <coughs> This is the transmission, here's the chain, and all I'm going to do is slide the roll ring in there, and you see it took the slack out, and it just stays in that one spot, it doesn't move. Um, works great, and it, and it quieted down the uh, shifting from uh, reverse and neutral and forward on the uh, cart when I put it in. It's, it's really nice. It's very smooth. I like it.